Hello, I'm going to show you how to remove the burn rings on this Smith & Wesson 357. It's all stainless steel. I'm not only going to remove the burn rings from the cylinder itself, but I'm also in each one of the chambers going to remove the burn rings inside. And those are the hardest to clean on, uh, on any revolver. And those are going to contain copper, lead, and, and carbon, depending on the rounds you've used. And the, the acid solution you're going to make is called parasitic acid. The gun I've completely taken down and I've completely cleaned it. The only parts that I've run through the parasitic acid, I already ran the extractor through, and you can see that is like brand new. And on the back side, you'll see an accumulation on the back side when you remove yours. There's plenty of videos how to remove these parts on YouTube. I'm not going to go through any of that. I'm just going to show you how I clean, clean the parts. The crane itself has been run through and it's clean. Now the previous owner of this gun just cleaned it in the normal fashion. Never took the, any of these parts apart. But you can see that's what came off of the, this piece here that goes into the cylinder. But these have all been cleaned. I use the ultrasonic cleaner. You can look at my videos on how I clean my guns with the ultrasonic cleaner. But that's, that's, uh, that's done with a different type of solution. So anyways, all the parts are clean. And I also cleaned the cylinder itself. You clean it like you normally do. But finish up with a couple patches. I use two one-inch patches on a wooden, wooden cotton swab run those through and remove any remaining oil in there and then you're ready to go ahead and put that into your solution now I'm using a hot mix and I'll show you what that is that's two ounces of distilled white vinegar two ounces of hydrogen peroxide and just two ounces of water that's a hot mix what you're going to do is make parasitic acid my neutralizing solution is six ounces of water one half teaspoon of baking soda, this is a neutralizing solution, and a half teaspoon of palm olive dishwashing detergent. I like to use the original green. You can use Dove if you want. Either one, doesn't matter. But once you mix your parasitic acid, you want to be careful. Watch my video on, on how to prepare your compensator cleaning solution. You don't want to breathe it. You don't want to touch it, so you want to wear some gloves, nitrile gloves. Also, you want to wear some safety goggles. You don't want to splash it in your eyes. It is very corrosive to soft metals. It's not going to react with stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about that. It will just clean right down to the raw stainless steel. Any contaminants that are on that stainless steel, it will clean it off. So I'm going to go ahead and get my jar ready. And I'm going to use a pair of PVC rubber tip stainless steel tweezers to place the cylinder in my acid solution. I'm going to set it in and then knock it over like that and then cover it up immediately. Do not breathe this. Be in a well ventilated room. No kids, dogs, or pets around. I'm going to neutralize my tweezers. I don't want that smell coming off. I set my uh, ultrasonic cleaner to 480 seconds. <clears throat> this th thing that you saw floating on top of the parasitic acid, that's a rubber matting that goes in these compensator jars. There'll be a link on the video. I sell this as a compensator cleaning kit, uh, so you can take a look at it if you want. But what it does is it does two things, especially on compensators that have very shiny finishes. It, it will allow the compensator to stay stable on this, and it won't mar it or scratch it in any way. It also transfers the ultrasonic vibrations a little better onto the metal part that you're cleaning. So I've got my uh, ultrasonic cleaner set for 480 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and place it in here. Now I've got about 20 ounces of water in my ultrasonic cleaner. You want to bring that at least up to the minimum level inside if you look inside. You've got to have water in this thing otherwise you'll burn it out. Okay so I'm going to place my confidence or my uh, acid solution mix in there and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Now I'm going to run this for 480 seconds twice to start. Just by looking at those burn rings inside of that cylinder in, in each one of those chambers, I can tell it's going to take a minimum two runs at 480 seconds. And then we'll go from there to see if I need to go a third run or a fourth run 
because these burn rings have never been cleaned out of this from day one and this gun is at least 15 years old, maybe 20. So I'll see you back in about 16 minutes. Okay, we're just finishing up on 16 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. Nitro gloves on my left hand. Okay, I want to get my neutralizing solution lid off and I want to go directly from my acid, my parasitic acid, directly into my neutralizer solution. And close this lid up immediately. You don't want to be breathing this. Neutralize my tweezers. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my compensator brush. Let me set this out, of the, out to the side. Now you can see that liquid was, was perfectly clear to begin with. And you can see a grayish haze. That's going to be the traces of lead, carbon, etc. in there. So I'm going to take and run my compensator brush through the front side of the cylinder in each one of these chambers where those burn rings are. I want to remove any contaminant in there that creates a film. So I just want to do that on each, each one of the chambers like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick rinse and just fresh water. And I'm going to take and just wipe this down. And the face of the chamber, I'm just going to take on my paper towel, if there's any residual on there, and we'll take a look at it. You can see that's pretty clean. I'm going to go ahead and run this another 480 seconds. Let me take a look inside of each one of these chambers, and I'm going to use my eye loop. That's a two times eye loop. tell you what, those burn rings, they are, they're completely gone. There might be just a trace in there, but I'll see if I can get up close and let you look in there. But those burn rings, they're, they're completely removed. And they've never been removed from day one. So I'm going to run it another 480 seconds just to make sure, but I, I, I'm safe to say that that's, that's perfect. I mean, it's spotless, nothing but raw stainless steel at this point. You're not using any polishes or anything. You're not rubbing the metal. You're just chemically removing the contaminants that are on it. So it's basically back to factory brand new. But I'll run it another 480 seconds and we'll, we'll see you back then. Okay, that's round number three, 480 seconds per round, so that's a total of 24 minutes. Let's remove it, and that, that's going to be it for this. I just did an extra 480 seconds just to make sure we got everything out of there. Now, if you don't have an ultrasonic cleaner, that's okay. You just want to leave it sit in your acid solution for one hour intervals. After each hour, remove it same as you would with the ultrasonic cleaner and then place it into your neutralizing solution you can see how gray that is and 
And then I'm going to run my compensator brush through again one more time. And then I'll do a separate video on how I custom polish this because what that'll do is that'll prevent these rings from forming as quickly. But if you have your 500 rounds, I'll give it an acid wash, remove those rings. looks like brand new in there. Back to factory original. Now you only want to use this mix on a stainless steel cylinder or stainless steel in general. Not on a steel cylinder. That's a different mix. I'll do a video on that at another time. take a quick look at that with my eye loop. Yeah, it's like brand new. That's back to factory, factory brand new. And then in the video I'll, I'll polish the polish the face and then the the front half. You don't you don't need to polish back in here. There's no reason to anyways. Just leave that all factory original. And that'll help resist any of these uh, burn rings in the future. It'll just make it make cleaning your uh, uh, cylinder out a lot easier. But that's it. That's all there is to it. You're not going to harm anything. Now you want to make sure that your waste, you want to mix your neutralizing solution when you're done with your paracetic acid. Mix those two together. I keep those in a gallon jug and then once that gallon jug fills to the top, I take that to my, laced, my uh, local uh, waste hazard uh, disposal site here and they dispose of it for me because it does contain lead. You don't want to just dump it down the sink or throw it out in the yard. Um, so you know, just be environmentally conscious about it. Watch my video on how to prepare these solutions so you do it safely and just remember all your, all your safety precautions. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.